The report is a warning shot of sorts. Post-pandemic, as Silicon Valley companies are booming, the have-nots are left with even less. Perhaps the most popular time of the day for summer school kids, lunchtime in San Jose's Alum Rock School District, where many of the families live at or below the poverty line. Anyone under 18 is allowed to walk in for a free meal, whether they're in summer school or not. I mean, it's probably the only place where they can get a warm food, right? So we want to be able to have that and to do that during the summer. I think it's very important. This is the this grandfather says the summer meals are a great thing because so many are struggling right now. So this wealth inequality is growing. Dr. Scott Myers Lipton is the lead author of the 2022 Silicon Valley Pain Index. The report points to persistent inequality in booming Silicon Valley this year that includes drastic income declines for Latinos, African Americans, and indigenous Americans. The bombshell this year, 46% of children in the valley come from families who need help just to make ends meet. They can't provide the basics, Damien. They can't provide food, you know, shelter, transportation, health care without the, without the support of the government or a nonprofit organization. The report also found inflation is only making a bad situation worse because it means every dollar won't buy as much as it used to. Which is why Alan Rock says programs like this lunch program are critical to at least keep children nourished while their families ride the uncertain economic wave. Especially with the pandemic, a lot of our families did lose their jobs. Um, and now that everything is coming back up, we did find out that a lot of our families are actually taking extra jobs because the pay is so low. A new report shining a bright light on the dark side of Silicon Valley. Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.